Hi, Scott Lett here, owner of Pro Exterior Cleaning here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am set up, ready to go. <clears throat> I'm cleaning this roof here, this section, and then this section here, down through there. Pretty easy job. Not a very high ticket job, but hey, you know, I'm getting paid for it, so then I'll be here maybe an hour, if that. So first thing I'm gonna do is water down all the plants, especially over there. You can see a downstream coming down where all the chemicals will go. And I'll probably do, do uh, two applications. I already have my mix uh, put together over there. Uh, my batch made up 5%. Roof batch is what I made with the heavy surfactant. So once I get the ladder set up, um, I'll show you guys how I spray up there. I always spray from the top and let all the, the chemicals kind of work its way down and that stuff just evaporates. So, all right guys, I'll show you what I'm working with here in a little bit. Uh, new soap nozzle made by Ryobi. I've seen a lot of guys with the blue one. I could not find the blue one, so I found this one and I've already tried it out and it, I mean, it shoots pretty, pretty high up, pretty good stream. It's got the X-Jet type feature. You can, the nozzle adjust here for a stream and for a fan, so pretty cool little nozzle there. I've been using that in a J-Rod and they've been working pretty well for me. Um, while I'm over here, I'll just kind of show you my batch. This is a 13 gallon reservoir. Um, I have six gallons of SH and the rest is water with some uh, surfactant. You can see the soap right there. And I threw some of this in there. It's called Spray and Forget. It's a roof wash stuff from Home Depot. And I've tried it a couple times and it's worked pretty good. So I'm gonna keep using it with uh, SH. So these are all my boxes of SH that I make my uh, batches with. So, all right guys, I'm gonna set up my ladder and then we'll get started. Show you how I'm set up on this roof. So I didn't have enough room on that side of the fence. So the neighbor graciously let me set up over here. So notice that my stabilizer is keeping me from leaning against the gutters and this fence here. So, because you don't want to put weight against the gutters, right? I'm a 250 pound guy. So if I'll put that kind of weight on the gutters, I could damage them. So I'm gonna be able to spray pretty much all down through this side and that side from, from this point. So I kind of put it in the middle. It's really not that bad on that far end. I can still be able to hit it, but I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna start from the top and let my soap suds and SH work its way down. So, all right guys, I'll show you when I get up this area, you can kind of see the soap running down. I'm actually able to hit most of this from the, from the ground. So I have a seven gallon per minute pump, which is ideal for this kind of work. Go ahead, hit, hit right above those dark spots and let it run down. ladder for one second just to reach a little bit higher that should be plenty right above it and you'll land right where you want to hit running a five percent batch I can already tell that it's working well. All right, guys, I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Roof wash, show you the end result here. No more streaks. Customer is super happy. She said it looks like a brand new roof. So, it took me 30 or about 45 minutes to set up and do the roof wash. Took no time at all. All right, guys, I am finished with that roof wash. Took me about about 45 minutes. Um, I was gonna show you guys um, this soap nozzle I bought, made, made by Ryobi. Um, it worked 
pretty well. I liked it. It seemed out seemed to push out more soap than the J-Ride, in my opinion, which is good for roof washing. So it's probably what I'm going to start using. And um, I put it on my 12-volt uh, system, on my 12-volt uh, soft washing uh, wand. It did great. So I'm very happy with it. It was only like eight bucks. I usually don't like using Ryobi tools, but this is an exception. I like it a lot. This is what it looks like. It has the adjustable fan on it um, where you can create a stream or if you want a fan and hit more ground, if you're trying to pre-treat a driveway, you know, or you want to hit the roof, um, a section of a roof, this can do both. So um, I was pretty skeptical, but I've been seeing guys use it and I liked it. So, all right, well, I'm going to go drop my trailer off and then I'm going to go back and take some after pictures. The customer is super happy and she's going to make a Facebook post on our neighborhood page for me. So that's always a good thing. And uh, so y'all stay tuned and check out the after pictures.